Celestia Ja, Rastafara King Celestia the first of all. We give thanks and his majesty for strong power, even for the one minute once again. Social cohesion in Brazil International, national we call it national reggae, music, social cohesion. We are inside righteously guilty. That's them call it. Now, righteously, as we have said, the itinerant ISIS have been yarding forward. Remember, we have actually wake up and we give ISIS. Now we have been reasoning in this time, striving to capture on the forwardness of the movement itself, reggae music. Reggae music in South Africa, it's actually now coming to a level of basically being not just recognized, but given also a platform basically to the highest level. Now, as we get that kind of levels, we are also on the reasoning. System of Paseta is inside the ghetto, one would say in this area, or should I say, inside Haiti, we've got Angola Maseta inside, and we've got Sister Anela Jamani as well, and of course, none other than, we talk about now, Dil, himself, the general, the 12 star, we talk about in the highest level. This is now Dilin Jameson, black, black, black Dilin so reasoning is so much to the highest level that now we are not performing, we are not sort of, I would say, coming up on stage telling you about who is going to come next. But now we are telling you about the future of reggae music. We are talking about now the challenges of reggae music as well, not only the challenges, but mainly to the highest level. We also will be sharing more as well as basically the successes of reggae music itself. Lion Paul once again, we there, remember. So as we are now reasoning, we are actually looking forward to talk strictly on the challenges and basically the success. It depends on ones and ones, it's a conversation we reason upon. So Sister Papaseta will give you the take basically on looking at these challenges as you are actually organizing these artists in many levels, you know, and you, you overstand that. Uh, there is actually challenges, there is actually also success on your own spectators. What would you say? Your take. Greetings, I'm Marco Seika from Live Less Production for Stage Blue Content. Uh, thank you very much, Aya, for the opportunity. Basically, my, my concern, the, the biggest challenge for me as a promoter, which I think it can, it can eliminate all any other challenges, it's, it's, it's money, basically, it's investors. We need, we, need, we need people that can invest in reggae music. Reggae music has grown in South Africa. And it's up, up, up there. Uh, we, we've got, we've got artists that I can say that they are the best artists in reggae music. The only problem that we have is invest, investment. We need private investors. We need government to invest in reggae music. And my my cry always is that. Other type of music genres are given preference than reggae music. We are treated like, um, you know, when after you eat, oh yeah, this is the surpluses. That's what we get. That's what we get. That's what we get, especially from our government. And I, 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 I listen to, I listen to budget speech every year. Mm -hmm. And I know there's money that is put aside for music, despite what type of music. Mm -hmm. And we are given just a portion like this. Secondly, organizers need to, need to, need to organize themselves before they can organize music. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, so our... It's more like the, the introspection, that kind of introspection as well. Uh, you know, you know, the music, I know, it's not, it's not religious. Let's let's not let's not make reggae music uh, a bingy chant. Reggae music is music for love, it's for everyone. You know? So if we can know if we can know why why are we reggae music, you know? Like now we are at social cohesion. Social we start by 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 understanding the word socialism it's it's coming together despite the way your background or whatsoever. So first thing that we need to do, we just need to love one another, unite and accommodate one another. Then this music will go far. After we get money again. Money is still the main, 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 main source. Uh, 
and our artists as well. I, I have a concern that everyone is an artist today. They are artists. We don't know whether they are artistic work. They are doing them. They are doing it in the bedroom or where. But when they come out, they are artists. You must invest in your art. You must brand your art. You must love your art. That's what one must do. I, I want you. I, I want us to to reason more on the uh, what you call it. Firstly, uh, on the on what how people are looking at reggae music itself. What is reggae music? And secondly, I will come back on the reasoning of the artist, the quantity, because seemingly we are talking on the level that there's so much quantity and less quality. Uh, there's got a number of artists, as you said, but the quality that tends to be put out there is limited. Now, I want to bring the ancient, the elder, the uh, We talk now uh, ancients, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, my leader, Angola Maseko, you have been in the game since 80s, one would say. And the uh, reggae music, now we're talking about 2019. Yeah. And uh, you started recording then. Uh, you know your own journey. Wearing now and giving you now a spectacle to wear your spectacles, look at the challenges and the successes of reggae music. Here is your danger around you. You have yeah, seen 2019 uh, that in South Africa, at, one would have said, not at last, you know, because we tend to look at me as the start, but starting as we start now getting that kind of hour, because we know that it has been there with your summer, way back with the sensors then, but it, it faded. Yes, sir. We hope that it will not fail. But on yeah. your take, wearing your own spectacles, yes, well, sir. Leader, the success, the challenges of the music. Yeah, there are many challenges. Still. And to I, it's going to take time. See, because now the, the hypocrites are involved in, this, in the reggae music. Because they see the fruits now. That now. The people have been working hard to get uh, this music there. Now when they see that now the, the, the food is ready, now the vultures come in to eat. Like I will say, there are people who also tend, the, tend to turn themselves to promoters. Mm. While you find them not promoting, uh, they're not in there with the music. They never care about music. Mm. Unlike my sister, you know, struggling with reggae music, being a pro promoter of reggae music. While you know that you can promote other people and you can get money out of that. But she struggled as a rasta, as feeling it that this is music of the people, it must be, it must be uh, popular, you know. So now, those challenges, they're becoming hard to be resolved because of these hypocrites, you know, who are there. Because they are always there. Sometimes they lead us. I want to just say, these are things that you as artists have so, also sang about. Yeah. You know, I think you have sang about these things in the music. Yes, sir. Yeah. But the word hypocrite, it's not one. I'm saying it's not now. Yeah, yeah. No. True. Continue, my name. So these things, they don't stop. And then I, I, I foresee, if ever, people who are good, intelligent people with righteousness, doing their work, for people, knowing this music, respecting reggae music, it can go forward, you see. But the government, on the other hand, it doesn't help Ireland. Because to I, ever since the government took over, black government, reggae music went down. Like you said, that it did grow up and went down, you see. Because of the shit system. The shit system doesn't care about Rastafarians, you know. They take us like, we're minority, like AWB in minority, wherever you find that, yeah, you know. So in that sense, it's becoming difficult for INI people. And of course, you'll find that another man is going to make a show, maybe government give him money because he's got connection. And then he steal the money and give artists feel. Or he said, I had never had money, there was no money. And then you find the people, they would perform, perform for nothing, you know, things like that. So it is going to be a long way until you get right people. But it must start with the government. The government must tell the SABC, they are, they are in charge, you must tell them. Well, they know reggae music, they know they, they're from the struggle. Yeah, they know reggae music, it, it gave them courage to fight. It inspires them yes, sir. To, 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 I would say, to, to enjoy yeah, man. the pain within prison. Exactly. And that particular you know, time. Like so they've been comforted, but now they don't want to confront back to INI. What have you been doing? Respect. Last year.
Elder, I again you are mostly have been bringing on the level of the challenges. And I don't want to bring you now on that level of success. I'm still going to put sort of, sort of a reason more on that. But I want to also give Sister, I would say, Anela as well, yeah. take on this reason. Yeah. So that we reason to the highest level as well. Right. Hence, I've got still Dillinger, you know. So, 12 star general. Dillinger. Respect. Yeah. Sister Anela, uh, your, your take, my sister, firstly, you, you, you come from Cape Town, you know, and they come on the level of a female artist within our say reggae music itself. And as an artist, sister Anela, like coming from outside Cape Town and coming actually from the female I'd say, artist within the reggae music, and you and yourself, you know, actually there has you have actually I'd say ventured into different forms of art. You know, you, you were there actually within the hip hop, you know, and you also been there when actually the movements within reggae music, dungeon affairs were actually formed. Now, your take, looking actually at the successes, and the, not just successes, but also the challenges of reggae music. In results. Um, my take would be, it's not that the, the industry itself, if you choose to call it an industry, some will differ and say it's not an industry and point being it's that it's not feeding us, but it will be a matter of semantics. But as the industry itself, I think we are not organized, we are not yet organized. What is happening is that we find tyrants with the already existing tyrants that women are the highly marginalized group, not only in the reggae industry but in society as well. Even in the music industry. So it becomes worse in situations where you find there is reggae music and reggae music is known to be a, a, a raster culture. So what plays into downsizing women in the music industry now is the fact that there is a more male dominance within the industry of music. Now, in the reggae music, misogyny plays a huge role in undermining women. Whether be it you are a, a, a promoter, whether you are an artist, or whatever role that you play in the industry, you are always going to be suppressed, looked down on because of the fact that you are a woman. So my role as an artist and female artist is to place a stamp is to place a stamp, open up, not open up a space, but make the other women see that women in reggae, they are here to stay. And in the meantime, while they are still not ready to pull the socks up or else be brave enough to take center stage, Sister Anela will be doing that for them and for the broader community as well. You know, like, what I want to come up with, what you just said, my sister, is that women are here to stay, and it's much more of saddening that even though we overstand that, that we, we, we talk about balancing of life, yeah. within this, I would say, the reggae music, you still find There's that, no balance. I would say, males are still, I would say, trying to dominate more than, I would say, as we're supposed to be looking after, you know, the empresses in that kind of level. But I think now, uh, whoever would be basically, I would say, striving to a level of, uh, I would say, looking at, I would say, reggae music, especially when it comes to the success as well as the challenges, they need to, I would say, look at the side of women as well. This is what you are saying. Yes, I, 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 that is definitely what I'm saying. I'm saying, if we are fighting for reggae music to be a universal language, then we cannot leave women behind. Because women are the naturals, women are the communicators. So who is going to teach the young ones? It's a norm that men are to go and work. But we as the women, we stay behind the houses. And we are the first ones to be the teachers of the kids way before they go to school. So if we now are being sidelined, what are we going to be teaching our kids? We're going to teach our kids that you, as if it's a female, you're going to teach your child that you know what, you have to fight in order for the world to recognize you. Hence now this battle of women fighting for positions. Yes. 
became the. It's, it, it, it's you know what? Now, it's what what I found is that now, male domination is ignorant. It's ignorant in the sense that they think when women are fighting for visibility, it's an attack personally on the men. That is not the the, 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 the issue. What we are fighting for is visibility it's a space we are not taking over the space because wherever there is women there's already balance the, na the balance is already natural so we know how to divide equally because we have kids so wherever we are we, we're not necessarily the people are the kids but we are saying we apply the same management skills that we apply when we are building our kids because we love them equally we share them equally but when there is male dominance in everything it's all about me it's all about the ego you know and it's even becoming worse that now women organizers as well in the reggae industry they want to take away the work that the women in reggae have done they want to remove that work because you cannot call a 20, 10 people who are males and then only find that in those 10 people there's only three females that does not work there should be balance now on that level that there should be balance i want to hold it there sister anela and bring in black dealing now did Dile. you dada you are there and uh, Looking basically, uh, I know that uh, it's, uh, it's been like a uh, long time. Uh, uh, reasoning about the regular music, like, uh, how it came to the for in terms of like. Uh, what time are we supposed uh, to be uh, like, I'm saying long time. Uh, yes. You have been there uh, like, uh, uh, Remember that people have been talking about some before in that sense, and then they all came only up to the people. I feel it was basically the same sense of Now moving on, and we paid it up to until 2019. Now I'm doing this, I want you to look at the levels of it. I'm not feeling the challenges as well as the successes of the community. Where do you expect to go? Well, first and foremost, I would love to greet and salute each and everyone because in our days we are not just local or continental or international. So, greeting to our international viewers and uh, listeners out there. Uh, first and foremost, we want to do this thing naturally. Santana, uh, you and my brother, when we are going to harvest, we harvest what is right. I don't mind what is still green, still going to be ripe on rather time of the season. But see as your harvester, we get what is ripe, ready to be eaten. I think that's just a nature. We won't go there and collect flowers that are about to bloom to be peaches. We want peaches that are yellow in color, so that we can eat. That's the reason we need to go and have it. When you talk about this thing, you say, let's look at nature itself. Mm -hmm. When you go there to pick up things, you don't just pick up this one that is still growing up. Monkeys do that. When they climb trees, they know where to go and get. Why human beings don't know? Why must we go and get leaves? Monkeys are going to get uh, bananas on the tree. So to me, it's to call a spade a spade. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there is supposed to be a pyramid law. Now you are coming to the level of that quantity and quality. Thank you. It's pyramid law, meaning pyramid is like this. Man. This space is not for plant. Maybe that one is for plant down there because it's wide and open. But the more it narrows, it goes to king and queen. Beyond the king and queen, it's one. It's God. Wow. Underneath, it's, it's, it's the, the cabinet. Underneath the cabinet is the security. Underneath the security is the first class. Underneath the first class, the third class. It goes on to the workers or the pillars of the actual pyramid. What I or what we have worked with, there's no way that you're going to start there in the pyramid. The door is down there. You start there up until you reach somewhere. So when people see us reaching somewhere, they must not get moved. Because it's trust me, you, we started, there. there's one door. Yeah. If you're going to see me on the sixth floor, know that I have passed first, second, third, fourth, and then now I'm on sixth floor. If you're going to get moved about that, 
it's like you're moving back one to yourself. I'm one of those guys who will uh, uh, not sort of a, a sugarcoat nonsense. Nonsense is nonsense. Meaning, we need to be, we need to create an industry that separates, like I was just explaining to my fellow musicians, uh, a men from boys type of situation. There is no way that you're gonna mix what we are trying to to show to government. It's like mixing sugar and salt together. Put the professional and the immature together. You are disturbing the viewers, confusing the situation, make these individuals sometimes start to disrespect each other. So until we start to understand that there is this type of levels whereby there is the elder that was there before me, filling stadiums. This is the opposite. <laughs> we can Google it right now. This man fill up stadium alone. And I know that. That's where I started to respect. Without, I respect my elder. If he was an elder, I was going to give him an elderly respect. No, he's an artist, a musician. Elderly respect and the music, what they have sacrificed. So that today I can sit here as Black Belly. So we need our managers, promoters, reggae pioneers or leaders to separate one from two. We have seen this thing happening for many years. That South Africa all of a sudden, they don't know. Till today, we still refer to Lucky Dube. Who is next Lucky Dube in the country? Jamaica have figured, they have moved. Zimbabwe have moved to the world, Europe have moved. You go to, to, to Germany, I've six, I stayed six years in Germany. The king of Germany, it's one man, it's called gentleman. You can go and try to run around, you will meet artists in Germany. There's one king of them, his name is gentleman. Maybe the whole world know, maybe we don't know yet. But these people know what I'm talking about. So we need to have pyramid and support what you have. Support your leaders, don't be jealous. The moment you are jealous, you are delaying the process. Done. And you want to, you want to, your kids will fix it. Don't worry. You, you know, sometimes you think that we are doing this thing for us. Now we are living in a time and age that allow us to say we are elders. Come on, come on. We are reaching forties. We are about to be forty. In age. We are no longer youth. We are no longer youth. So we, 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 we know what we know, and trust me, you, all of these type of things, they start from, like you said, quality and quantity. I'm an artist, I'll focus on that. There's no way people will want to be treated like queens and kings. There's not even a concept. We artists to start it up. Kings and queens, where? Are you artists? If you're an artist, did you promote yourself? Which why you must do a great job and make sure when you do that great job, you promote it and you publicize it. I'm a selfie. Always when you do great things, selfie post it so that we can see. We can call. Like the promoter said, I won't pay you 25,000 and I don't know. I don't say Nobu Puma or you Jesus Christ Wapi. It is what it is. So you need to deserve it, have it. Like I'm saying, as we are becoming now elders, we don't want to be mixed with kids. That's going to be. There is a place of crying. Call in platform, you cry. Mama cry. Even though it's color, not just for the window, it's color. People who have been crying. Now, how to be singing about color? See, we call now. You imagine see a cooler. See, they go with the platform. I don't doubt your color. I don't doubt your focus. So now we need to focus. We need to move forward. Know what is happening. That's one. Secondly, we cannot lie or run away from the fact that I will answer now, my uh, 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 mama. You understand? Uh, we as Rastas, we want equal rights and justice. We know the scale is been one-sided. It favors men a lot. The reason the promoters call many men is because they are there. I'm sorry, they just there. I have posted. Somebody asked me to, to, to do a research, and I've tried to do that research. And that research was very simple. Get a female reggae band. Quick, quick, delete, and get back to me. I was so confused. Female, it sounded weird. Female reggae band. Oh, it's a challenge. What am I gonna do? Ah uh, man, me I'm famous. You know what it is? Ah, I'm sharp. They forgot to social network buzzers. Right? If you're a female band, whatever, it was zero likes, zero comment. One somebody from Cape Town say, ah, they are not existing. I think you need to create one Dillinger. So women, they are just not there. They are not there in other spaces. You know, they are limited. It's worse in reggae. 
still the same situation that you are suffocating. We are told it is beyond the individual. It's not about the individual. This is the world situation where women need to be in position that makes sense. Then back up. My first mate has a back up. I don't know if the stage was on vacation. It's a natural thing I understand, you know, it comes from deep and because we've got these times of this recordings, uh, uh, we are going to still continue adding forward. Uh, I want us just to get more time on that reasoning. But as you're just putting it on that level that hence there is actually that problem because I want us to stick on that level of quantity and quality. Mm -hmm. and, uh, as you look at basically the female artists themselves, you look at me, as you say that uh, after gathering or striving to gather, I would say that artist band of females, there was nothing much you could get actually. So what can be done? to uplift these levels so that we can come to that level because I, 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 I might be wanting you to repeat basically on some of the words that you have said but mine is to basically now to yard forward towards that whereby you see now as, as that cry of Sister Anela especially of the female artist what can be done to uplift at least the levels of these artists because they are there we need to be brave I left home when I was very young and I went to the first world with my bag. I never knew where I was going. You might think that I knew where I was going. I just told my artist when I reached Johannesburg, I was staying in Pukwini, in a uh, in small farm, Pukwini, just a reality. Small farm buffet, to SPK, Utilinja, Yimilo, Manjing Se Hilton. Young told, right now I'm in my morning proudly for the first time. From Kukulia to Tunkukwe, Josie. Why? Because I was moving somewhere. I'm going somewhere. We need to do the same. These people must leave their comfort zone. Johannesburg is the center where everybody must be. How? We don't know. Don't ask me. We don't know. Why is Johannesburg the center of the world? Why is the center of the world? Why is the center We don't know. Take yourself. Be in the spaces that are going to make change and effect. Immediate effect because we don't have time. There's no future, brothers. Future is done. Future is now. You talk about future, you are a dead person. You lose in a double. We don't have plan B, my brother. Cut off plan B. Plan B must not exist. That's a wrong vocabulary. We don't want plan B. Because plan B now make us feel like it's like when you are when you are athlete. You know when you're doing the the what you call this thing in circus where people jump. Yeah. Even, then there's that surf, that that net. If you fall, you're still safe. We need to take off that, that net because then you know you're still safe. You got a plan B if I fall here. Select a massive. Are we give thanks once again because of time. We are running out. So at this time of an hour, uh, I wanted us basically to come to a level that we still, oh, I would say, be clear much that there's still an, I would say, a road to be traveled. Uh, especially on that kind of recognizing. There is no road you need to be traveled, point of correction. Uh, yes. Roads have been traveled by this man. If you're gonna say now we need road to be traveled, what are you saying to the elder? He yes. cannot move forward, the, the elder, unless we're talking about our kids. Ah, they've got a length of road. They've got length of mountains to climb, not us. The ninja, there's a road to be traveled. Uh, there, there's a road to be traveled in this, in this level that to be, I'd say, already to, to see that pyramid, you know, seem to be so that people get that kind of light, or should I say those people, to put those kings and queens actually so that the young ones out there can, who are making noise to also recognize and support that level. We need to start over standard. There is a road to be traveled. Let's learn. Thing. Let's learn from nature. I tell you, when, when monkeys climb that tree, that tree, they know what to do. How to, they already calculated everything. Why can't we calculate? Pyramid has been built. We don't need to build pyramid. Wheel has been invented. We don't need to invent a wheel. You understand? Everything is there. Everything is there. What we need to do is to sit down and deal, call a spade a spade. If some city there's a road need to be traveled, we are lying. For an example, there is a money right here that has been spent by government. Where, where and how that money was been here. We don't want to tap, tap on that, but you're still saying we still have to go and fight. There's already activities that are happening and implemented for reggae. Let's not keep on blaming government. There is money here coming from individuals that we know. Government is not here. We see flags and whatever. That money is being proceeded professionally. That means there is a way, a means of doing these things. So, People need to be called in dialogue, sit down, and open, be proudly open. Because, reason I'm saying, you might think that we are getting sponsored. 
Me not black TV, I write good music. That's why you and you are busy shooting me, yeah? Not because of papers, you gave me money or you gave me money, no. It's because I'm doing good job in my own space that I'm doing, wherever that I'm doing. Now, like, for, 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 for the levels of, like, you have pushed to the kind of level, let's come to a point of now. How do you bring in the other artists? I mean, I've got the level that you have seen, actually, you bring in the other artists so that they can also support the ones that are out there, so that they do not fight. The problem is this you bring in who who bring who that's a question because now you are saying bring who who who's that one but people must hear call a spade a spade who must bring who where and how we are all here who is involved to bring who and how mm. Mm. Uh, you, like, for example, there's a lot there's a lot of the word itself now uh, you know don't worry about the word just the cohesion because it talks about bringing different people you get me but who is she who bring me here yeah. that's you a see, question that's 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 a question and it's a valid question mm. because if you do not take note who pull the strings then you turn the last that's why I'm saying because we need to put the one who pulled the strings to account. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, we're not talking. We need to we need to put put into account those who have the access because the thing is uh, the sister has divided us into groups that each and every one we have a role to play within the within the growing the, the reggae uh, industry and not all of us are artists. Some of us are organizers. Some of us are. Uh, uh, band players or whatever but we are not all involved in the logistics in the in the collection in, in the in the funding the fundraising and whatsoever there are people who are involved in that and those people should be accountable and one biggest mistake is that you will place people who have never stood on stage to lead people who are standing on stage those people will never will never it's almost like asking the president to be concerned about Abanda Bashali said same between while he doesn't stay in him yeah, the that person will not ignore there. that thing. That person will ignore that even breaks your heart that you have. You were told that you have 20 seconds and your 20 seconds drop to 10 seconds. That person will not be concerned because that person does not know how that impacts your work. But if now the person who is there, who feels the sweat on a daily basis, who works in the studio, who goes and writes songs, is there in the discussions, in the decision making, then I'm telling you, there will be more to there will, there will be a, be a doorstep closer to reaching ultimate success. It's more like we said, there's a need of actually more reason. The artists organizing themselves. Artists to share what they want as well with the people basically that are dealing with the organizing. And most importantly, even now, them themselves who are organizing, those who are actually artists, we have to come up on the level of, I would say, overstanding of oneness because seemingly up until they understand what is quality and quantity, both in that level, then we start to move forward. But yes. Sister Mapasaka, you wanted to share something. Yes, thank you very much. In short, we, I, I think we swept, we swept the, the question of how do we promote women in the Nekabe. That's a very important one. First thing, we start, we start on our shows. We stop a meeting on the on stage. Yesterday, there was a lot of abuse of women on the stage. There was a sister who went like several times on the stage and the men were busy passing her and passing her and passing her. The stage managers, they need to manage the stage very properly. Let's not intimidate one another on the stage. Women, they are... Women, women, uh, naturally, they are what? They are sensitive. They, call, they need to be nurtured. That's why our, our scripture is saying, man is ahead. We must head even by taking care of us. Not heading when you have responsibilities that we need to do for you. Not pulling. You know, not pulling exactly. Let's have shows that are basically for women. Like for example, I have women's edition whereby I the is telling the truth when he says he was looking for a woman band. Women are running away because they are not teaching to work in reggae music, reggae industry, whether being a promoter or what. You know, I have a show that is called Women's Edition, whereby I need a, 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 a MC DJ, a woman band, a woman singer, and whatsoever. I end up putting names because women are not there. Not that women can't do it, but women they run away. Just like in the movement of Rastafarian, a lot of women they dropped being Rastas because they were a 
abused and there's still that abusive music industry about where uh, about how, where we are now there's a light in the tunnel Delinja is telling the truth we have walked this path we are there now we need to organize our houses we need to have the 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 collectors of our, of our royalties. We need to have where where we know that um, our art, our artists when they are having problems, they know that there's this organization that we need to go to. We need plenty of shopping. Like we don't need to take uh, our our music our music like regular music as if like it's a store where we're selling bananas and whatsoever. We need to we need to register our art. We need to collect ourselves. Like for example, if you go to Price or you know there's a company that they're collecting the royalties of the artist. Who's collecting our royalties? And we are making money, we are we see we see our artists on SBC whatsoever. Where are their money? Who's collecting that money? We need to group ourselves together and one thing, one love that we sing every day is the one that is gonna make us go up even if you do not love me, but for the sake of reggae music, let's work together. Let promoters come together, let artists come together, let the young ones know that uh, young ones that they must learn from the elder one, and the elder ones must not have the young ones, they must pull their hands so that we can go and shoot and go up. Reggae music in South Africa is growing daily. We can see, we thank you for some hours for recognizing us. We also thank you for the Department of Arts and Culture for giving us this opportunity. And let's go back to our provinces and go and make our our small and social provisions so that we teach others then we're going forward. On that note, once again, that system of Asaga is saying that, especially when it comes to promotion of female artists, right? In Cape Town on the 31st of August, 31st of August in Cape Town, women, female MC, women organizing themselves, did it? striving to find, I would say, what you are saying now, that kind of inspiration amongst themselves, you know, within reggae music. I think Empress Hotel is actually behind striving to, I would say, connect all the women. So, already there's a date, Empress G will be also blazing fire within that stage. And so I'm trying to say, there is, you know, that movement that women are doing. I think we actually, within the, I would say, industry or within the reggae movement itself, we need to put our eyes as well, like we need to look as well this time. Like, let's not make women run away from the time that we are together, it's women and males. Let's, let's give women a chance on the stage. Let's stop pulling and fighting for the mic. Your talent, the ninja's talent, my talent is different. Let's not compete. You will do his own thing, I do my own thing. Let's give one another chance. Give chance. Give, chance. give us enough. Give one another chance and we are still there. Remember, it's social cohesion, reasoning. So we are there for give tongues to the highest level. It's there for the selector massive, LNG, Eitzman, Kaboom, Booyaka. Come on.